Hi Aries, we are going to look at your energies at the moment and what is potentially going on for you. Okay, and then we're going to look at ways that you can manage what is happening in your life just to make uh, this path a bit easier for you Aries. Okay, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong side, sorry, I'm getting used to this. <laughs> okay, bear with me Aries, I'm just a person like you, so you know, just out here trying to help as much as I can. So yes, now, okay Aries, with the um, Cosmic Reading Cards and the Osho Zen Tarot, we will be getting this information for you. Okay, I've already pulled some cards from the Cosmic Reading Cards uh, to, I'll just straighten this up here, um, to just to save time, to be honest with you. Aries, wow, there's a lot going on for you right now. Um, I feel like, first off, let me just show you this. We have this card here, Intuition. The thing here, Aries, is that um, with this intuition, right, I don't know if you tap into it all the time or if you use it. I feel like, Aries, there's an element of distrust in your intuition. Like you're not really sure um, of what you're getting. You know, is it is it right? Is it wrong? You know, um, the thing is that we, you know, it's like you've been asking and asking for answers and you're not really sure if you're getting them or things might come through but it appears jumbled or, you know, it's it really is such a subtle message, Aries. Sometimes we expect it to be loud and, you know, really obvious, but it's not. What happens is we get this subtle answer. It could be like a little whisper in your ear. And within a split second, Aries, the ego comes in with this loud beaming voice, okay? Or booming voice, I should say. And I feel like that's what's happening for you. And, and it's just actually a matter of fine tuning, um, like tuning into a radio station. It's almost like you almost get there, but there's just point one of a of a frequency to go to find it. Um, and that, to me, Aries, seems like... It will, it, the feeling that I'm getting about that is that you are um, almost getting it, but not quite. Um, we have this ripeness come out, which is kind of confirming what I'm saying here, because it's as though, you know, a lot of people have uh, trouble trying to find a ripe avocado, for example. They don't quite know what's right and what's what not, just from the feel of it, you know, and there's a little bit of a skill to it. Um, and it's a bit like harvesting the fruit with intuition. It is exactly like that. It really is um, having just, you know, like a, a, a bit like a, um, a lock where you have to turn the dial and you hear it click and then you've got it, right? Uh, so a, a bit like that, Aries. So um, let me just, okay, patience, patience. Be Take the time to go within, okay? Take the time to silence that mind, silence the ego. The ego will kick up a stink and your mind will start racing, okay? But be patient with it, okay? And that will help you, with um with tuning in the other thing i want to say about this aries is that um it's also about the cycle and this seems to be coming up quite a lot i think through the cards is that everything has its cycle what is going on for you in your life is part of a cycle okay it's like this ending and rebirthing for you Aries okay and I know that it's difficult at the moment for you because you're not quite sure what to do and what's the best path to take and what decisions should I make it's really tricky so in that regard Aries um, I feel like just silencing yourself and going within the next card we have here is emotions now Aries I feel like you're keeping a lot to yourself here. Um, 
and, and things are swirling around for you. I kind of feel like um, this internalizing is making things a lot heavier for you and it's as though there's um, been sort of this um, I don't know it's like you're afraid to it's like you're afraid to verbalize what it is that needs to be verbalized for some reason like you're keeping quiet um, about what you're feeling and maybe you're trying to sort that out in your head, you know. Maybe you're trying to sort out what it is that you need to work out, what the best path is to take before you actually verbalize your emotions. Um, yeah, there's because there's this, the other thing with this card is there's the sensing of standing still. There's the standing still while all the emotions are swirling around and... And I feel like it's weighing heavy on you. It's weighing you down. It really is. And it is it's really quite a burden for you, Aries. And I actually, um, I'd love to give you a big hug right now, to be honest with you. What's this one flipped up here? In a voice. In a voice, this is this intuition again, taking time. What I want to say about this, Aries is that um, with this card it's like when you silence yourself okay you notice that the the eyes are open there yet the face on top in that third eye area the eyes are closed it's sort of like this balance in a sense this whole card really is about balance um Getting, getting your, again, this quietening your mind in order to allow these emotions just to calm down. Because what's happening is your mind is going 10 to the dozen and it's causing a lot of your emotions to stir up. And if we can just get the mind quietened, your emotions may settle enough for you to rationally make a decision as to what it is you need to do and which path you need to take, Aries, okay? Transformation. Look at this, Aries. You have everything you need to make a change in your life, to make this transformation. I feel like what's happening right now is uh, because of these emotions and this ego coming in and going, yeah, but if you do that, because... Honestly, Aries, I feel like deep in your soul, you know the best path to take. You know deep down what the best thing to do is. And of course, it's the scariest thing. It always is, Aries. Honestly, it always is. But this, if, if you um, allow yourself to take this leap, okay, of faith that you're so afraid to take, that you feel like could be the right thing, that your wrong thing, sorry, if your that your ego is coming in and saying, don't do that, because what will this person say and what will this person think? And then you have to do this, this, and this, and oh what a hassle, you know, then you're not going to be able to make this transformation. And notice the phoenix here rising up from the ashes. I feel like this is you. At the moment, Aries, I feel like you're being weighed down, weighed down by whatever it is. Um and you are not able to rise up and be the true, authentic person that you really are. Okay, so uh, the next one here is moving fo move forward. Okay, so this here is um, talking about, I notice here how the clouds, it's highlighted around this person's mind, which tells me that your your mind is, you know, kind of racing and there's all these thoughts and it's just not clear for you. Kind of like standing there like, oh my gosh, I just don't know what to do. And um, I feel like part of this too is from things that have happened in the past, you know, and it's, um, it, you know, whether it's things to do with yourself or other people, it's like, oh, well, last time I tried that, this happened, or, you know, this person did this and, and this happened. So, you know, like actually allowing um, the past to hold you back, and that is no longer serving you. Once upon a time, 
that might have worked for you. You know, we all learn from our mistakes and, and we can use the past or other people's mistakes as a bit of guidance. But right now, Aries, it is not helping you. Harmony. Here we go again with this quietening of the mind in order to come into your heart. I feel like, Aries, you need to hear your heart more than you're hearing your mind right now because your heart will bring to your mind the correct course of action to take. But right now, everything is so jumbled and this is very crucial for you to take. It's going to shed light on the situation, I feel. And also, it's a 10. So it's almost as though whatever, because I feel like something is ending for you, whether that's a job, a relationship, <clears throat> living circumstances, um, anything in your life, you know, um, there's there's this ending and you're just not too sure either how to, is it like something's finished and you know it in your gut, but you're just not quite sure how to take the steps forward to finalise the ending, if you like, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So let's just see if there's any more about move forward for Aries. One more, thank you. Courage, Aries, courage. It's going to take courage. Okay, and, and what's courage? It's taking this leap of faith. It's this being the seed growing through the concrete cracks, through the rocks and shining anyway. Not letting anyone dim your light. Blossoming like you should, Aries. Blossoming like you deserve to. Yes. You have to reach up to the sunlight in order to get the nutrients that you need to grow. At the moment, you've been held down and you've been squashed and you can't quite get to the sunlight. You have to move forward so that you can grow, Aries. All this, this decision and this movement that you need to make forward is part of your growth as hard as it is. Aries, when we're not, um, when, when things aren't challenging us, we're not growing and that's why it's hard. You know, and we all have to go through that. And I'm not minimizing what it is for you that you're going through not right now, not at all. But please know that you're not alone, okay? You know, you have support from your guides. You have support from, you know, people around you. But, but at the moment, you're so silenced that you're not reaching out and asking for the support. Okay, be it through fear, be it through fear of being mocked. And you know what areas maybe you have and people would said, that's a stupid thing to do. Don't do that. But you know in your heart of hearts what you, your soul really, really wants. Okay, so sometimes you just have to take the leap of faith. Okay. And I speak from experience, Aries. You're my first video of my first of the new channel, right? Like, seriously, you have no idea how much I'm sweating right now. <laughs> so I get it, Aries. I get it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm with you. And please, please do this for you. Okay. Because once you start, you just have to start. Really is all you have to do. You just have to start. Okay, Aries, the next card here is Cosmic Connection. Now, Aries, as you start to grow and come up to the light, yes, you will begin to attract to people, attract people who are your people. Okay, at the moment, it seems like there's not really your people around you. You know, and so this is what this is about. Connecting in with your guides, connecting in with your intuition, connecting in with your higher self to help guide you through this time. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like that that has come up for you because I feel as though you really need that right now. Compromise. Look at this. Look at these two dudes. Do you know what these guys always remind me of? This is a bit of stubbornness, actually, Aries, and I know that you have that in you. Um, it's like these guys always remind me of that they're walking through a doorway, right? And they're walking together because they're, you know, it's kind of like they're, um, you know, uh, 
yin and yang sort of thing in a sense or you know like um, two twins who do everything together and, and trying to walk through this doorway but the doorway will only fit one and they're both standing there like well I'm not going to let you go first and the other one's like oh I'm not going to let you go first and they can't actually get through the doorway because neither of them will allow the other one to take the step forward right and I feel like that is absolutely what is happening in your life part of that is you being stubborn okay and not allowing yourself to take the step forward or not you know just kind of doing it another part of this Aries is other people not allowing you to take the step forward okay and it could very well be both okay but if you had in had these people in your life these your people, these people who you make these connections with, they would encourage you, they would very well open the door for you and say, go right ahead, Aries, we've got you. And that's the kind of people you want in your life, right? That is exactly who you want to attract in your life. Okay, not people who are going to um, block you and stump you from moving forward. Okay, I don't know if stump, whoops. I don't know if stump's the right word, but uh, you know what I mean. Okay, so that was a bit too many cards there. Okay, Aries, Cosmic Connection, anything else there? Let's have a look. Okay, the burden, the burden, letting go of the burden, not carrying other people's burdens, not living other people's dreams for them. Okay, look at this this guy here. He's carrying this dude here who's saying, go this way. And this one's, yes, yes, cock a doodle doo, let's go that way. And this guy here is exhausted. This here is about choosing your own path, right? Choosing your own path and actually moving away from these burdens, from other people's opinions of what is best for you. you only you know what's best for you, Aries. And yeah, it might pay some people off. Well, yeah, you just kind of have to work through that. And I know that you don't want to upset people because you do want everyone's support. And I get that. That is understandable. They will see, Aries, they will see at the end of the day that this is the best thing for you. And that they truly are for you and truly love you when you come up and shine bright and glow. They will be happy for you if they have your best interests in their heart. Okay? Beautiful, Aries. Beautiful. Surrender. Surrender. This reminds me, Aries, of, of a time in my life where I had to leave a, a really long relationship that I had been in and move countries. Um, and I one night I just... I didn't know what to do. I was so upset, like I was broken. And I just went outside. It was slightly raining and it was a full moon. And I just looked up at the moon and I just went, help me. I just did not know what to do. And I just went down to my knees and oh, I just surrendered. And through doing that, you, what, what happens when you surrender Aries is you accept what is happening. You accept that, that you just have to allow what is going on, you know, and, um, and it could be the case that whatever this change is, that you don't want this change. And I, I understand that thunderbolt, wow, thunderbolt, yep. That could be the case that for some of you something's happened really suddenly and it's not something you want and you are absolutely devastated and I get that. And sometimes areas we just have to let the cycle take place. As hard as it is, we have to let that happen. And we, you know, have to understand that it can be you know, that there is light, there is light, because once upon a time, the seed was in the dark, and then it came to the light, yeah, so this is just a matter of one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, step by step by step, you don't have to do it all at once, you just take one step at a time, okay, so let's have a look, anything else for surrender, for Aries, Laziness, okay, 
I feel like this is a bit like procrastinating. And the other thing I feel like with this Aries is actually um, denial of, you know, this guy sitting here, he's pretending he's on holiday at the beach and he's sitting in his, um, what looks to me like, you know, a kitchen floor, right? He's sitting, he's, in, he's not even left home. And, you know, this, I feel like also, Aries, it could very well be that there was um, an illusion that has been shattered for you. And you thought that things were a certain way. And in fact, things are changed now. And they weren't the way you thought they were. Or they weren't the way you were told they were. Or, Aries, they weren't the way you convinced yourself they were. Sorry, let me just fix this here. Um, yeah. Um, which leads me to this card of choices. There are choices, Aries. The thing to be mindful with this is that I feel like there's a number of choices and this could be, you know, part of this confusion of you don't know what to do, okay? It could also be that there are many people around you going, you should do this and you should do that and you should do this, that and everything else. And it's, it's encroaching upon your own, um, you know, hearing what it is that you want in your heart and soul, okay? Um, I want to say, oh, what was it? There was something there I wanted to say. Bring it back. Yeah, this is, um, this is actually becoming too loud for you and it is not helping you the thing is that people often will say to you it's it's you know the their intention is kind of like good um that they say you should do this and you should do that but generally that's based on what they would want uh, not necessarily on what is best for you okay so there's a big difference there oh two cards here what have we got look at this stepping out of this cage here see this bird here is afraid to fly because it doesn't believe it can, and it can. The, the bars have disappeared, they've gone away, uh, but it's just looking at all these other birds going, oh, I wish I could be like them, I wish I could fly like that. Well, it can, it just doesn't, hasn't taken that leap, okay? Um, and this other card here, new vision breaking out, okay? Getting yourself out of the box and actually stretching up, allowing yourself to grow, to grow and rise up, Aries, okay? Let go, yes, let go. You know, stop holding yourself down, Aries. It's been too long that you've been in the dark and and crouched down and you need to branch out now, yeah? Because this is what this change is allowing you to do and it may not be obvious to you right now. You may not see that, right? You may not see that, okay? You may not want to see it, because if it's not something you want to happen, you won't want to see it. Okay, but look at this, travelling. This is a chance for you, Aries, to pave your own way, to get, you know, to not follow everyone else's path or what everyone thinks you should be doing, but to, to pave your own way, to travel a new path. In Aries, the path ahead could be tough, you know, it could be hard. But you will learn so, so much. And there is a light. There is a light at the end of it, Aries. You just may not be able to see it right now. Because right now, you're in this dark. But see the light up here as well? There is light at the end of the tunnel. Believe me, Aries, there is. Okay, so let's have a look. Anything else for let go? Awareness. Awareness. Allowing yourself to come out, being the true you. Opening up to the awareness that is within you. Again, wiping out what everyone else says you should do and going within and, and letting that out. Okay, I feel like perhaps some of you are a little bit afraid of who you truly are or, or letting that become visible. You're afraid of being seen. You're afraid of the truth of who you are coming out. But Aries, you are here in this world to do something amazing. And unless you let yourself come to light, you will always be down in the dark. Okay. Um, there's a new chapter here, Aries. A new chapter. And you know, new beginnings can sometimes be tough. Right. 
absolutely but you have it in you to actually achieve this okay what's this new chapter about for Aries please new chapter for Aries the master <laughs> look at this the master this is the path you look you are the master of your own life yeah you are the master and I feel like Aries all of this here is ultimately for you to tap in to listen to your inner master be the master of your life stop letting other people come in and tell you what is best because you know Aries only you know what is best but I just feel like you're a little bit afraid to stand up and say actually no no more I'm not doing that I wasn't going to take two but because I've just seen them and we have to again letting go letting go of that not allowing people to hold you back okay breaking free clinging to the past keeping yourself in this box Aries okay not looking at the truth Okay, the fact of the matter is, Aries, you can bling up that box all you like, but it's still holding you back, no matter how pretty you make it look. You've got to take it off, Aries. You have to, for your own sake, because what you don't want to happen is for something else to happen, something else to happen, and something else to happen until you actually get it. Now is the time to get it. Now is your opportunity. So it's time for you to seize this opportunity. To make a change in your life to move forward and pave your own way for yourself okay uh sorry awaken awaken this here is a new beginning again aries this is i feel like this is really about you awakening to your inner um in a badass <laughs> you you are you know that real I just get this real kind of like, this is who I am, like, and really celebrating that, you know, awakening to the truth of your soul, what it is you that you're here to do, what's the mission that you need to go on, on, awakening to your strength and your courage, yeah, everything that we've talked about pretty much, but really awakening to that and being at peace with it. Okay, being at complete peace with it. Okay, have we got any other cards for Awaken here for Aries? I'm, I'm actually really excited for you, Aries. Like, I can feel the heaviness and the burden, but it's exciting to see that there's good things to come for you. Trust. Trust the process, Aries. Trust yourself. Trust that when you take the first step forward, you will be supported, okay? Because just like this bird here, that once it steps out of the cage, it has the ability to fly. It just has been locked in the cage for so long, it doesn't realise it can fly. And it's the same with you. I mean, I'm not saying jump off a cliff because you can't fly, Aries, okay? Unless you've got a hang glider or you're in a plane, okay? Please. But you get the idea, right? It's really metaphorical that, that is, applies um, and you ultimately, Aries, have to trust yourself. Playfulness. Here we go. This is a great way to finish us off, Aries. Play with it. Have some fun. Try new things out. You know, walk to the beat of your own drum instead of everybody else's try things out see what you like if you don't like it do this do that you know just explore and do new things so that you can work out what it is that you like to do Aries okay so this is up to you and I wish you all the luck in the world Aries Aries I appreciate you coming to be here please subscribe and share this video um messages in here may help other people whether they're in Aries or not and comment and let me know how it applies for you and let me know how you get on please because you are in my heart Aries okay Aries take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye